All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment. UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, only a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Pepper. Yeah. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Official home base team over the ring here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T Mobile Arena, the home oh. of the UFC. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow it? Immediately gets the underhook. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful strike. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice right hand counter. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Jones gets the tie clinch here. Real nice body kick land. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Johnny Bone. So just over 20 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Jones is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ten seconds to go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. After he blocked the previous shot. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, showing no signs of slowing down, 41 total strikes have landed for Piotr Jan. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against John Jones. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee, knee. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering right there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
mixes it, it up nicely in terms of that one here to stun him. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, oh my goodness. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levin has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the 